Hey you guys, what's up? I am Danielle. Today I'm so excited to share with you guys how my first trimester of this pregnancy went. I am currently pregnant with my third baby. I am 14 weeks and four days. So I just made it out of the first trimester and I am feeling way more energetic and ready to go. But if you are new here or you're planning to have a baby or you're currently pregnant, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I plan on sharing with you guys tons of baby and pregnancy content. Don't forget to hit the like button and let's go ahead and get into it. First, I'm gonna give you guys a bump shot because this is my third baby. I definitely have a bump. Let me show you what it's looking like. Guys of a peach, but I am already poking. So yes, let's um, get into it. So guys, I do already have a boy and a girl. Um, both of the pregnancies were different for each once I got towards the middle, but the first trimester started off the same. For all three pregnancies, they have been the same. So I do not have any clue in my head what I think I'm having thus far, but I will say that this time around, around four weeks, I noticed that my appetite was starting to decrease around Four to six weeks, I was really not hungry at all. Um, at four weeks at that time, I did not know I was pregnant yet. I started to think so around week five, but I was trying to work out, trying to eat healthy, and my appetite had decreased, and I was like, okay, you know, this might help me lose some weight. Maybe I'm drinking all the water I need and getting in my healthy options. My stomach is starting to shrink, but that was really just a symptom of being pregnant. So my appetite decreased, and then I um, started getting cold all the time. I was the only one in the house cold and it was springtime. So we didn't have the air on, we didn't have the heat on, like it was perfect outside. So um, there was no need, but I felt cold all the time. I was constantly like, in hoodies and getting blankets. And I'm like, is anybody else cold? And everybody's like, no. So then um, my next symptom that I, experience was extreme fatigue you you know if you know you know you get so tired in your first trimester and normally once we put the kids to bed like i'll do some household chores or i would come downstairs and watch tv but as soon as i put the kids to bed i would try to watch tv or think about what i want to do and i would be knocked out on this couch comatose and Derek would come downstairs like uh are you coming to bed and I just like, I don't know how it happened. I fell asleep. So I was so tired and that was a dead giveaway for me along with me um, not starting my period. So um, with that being said, we did decide to start planning for our third baby. I took out my IUD in February and in March I had a period and my period comes like clockwork. I wasn't sure how it was gonna go with having an IUD in for four years after having my son, but it came the next month in March, and then April, there was no period. So I looked at my period tracker and I was about a week late, but I did not take a test yet, just because I didn't wanna get my hopes up. I did think that it might take longer to get pregnant after having an IUD in for so long, and also, um, being in my 30s so i waited another week to take a test and the test came back immediately that i was pregnant so i knew right then and there that's why my appetite had decreased why i had been being feeling so cold and um why i was so 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 tired so um once that happened i did start doing my research again because i had not had a baby in like almost five years so I hopped on YouTube and was looking at the best pregnancy apps. And the one I've been loving so far is Pregnancy Plus. Um, I love this app because you can hear the heartbeat. So it's kind of like your baby is in your phone. And that's what my son has been telling everybody. Our baby's in the phone. So um, you can choose skin color. The further along the baby gets, you'll see the color of the skin start to change based on what you think your baby will look like um, based on you and your family. So uh, you can choose skin tone, um, they show hair, they show the what it looks like the inside of your body. So I've been loving that app and I also use Baby Center app. Um, I use that for both of my children and I still, once I signed back up for this baby, um, I started getting weekly emails again for both my kids. So they give me updates on how a four year old and seven year old are reacting and responding to certain things. So um, I love that I still get updates for both of those kids as well as this new baby. So I have been using both of those two apps and I love them. So once I downloaded Pregnancy Plus, I put in the date of my last period and I had the exact date this time since I had just taken out my IUD. I knew when I started my period and from there I was able to get my due date. 
and figure out how far along I was. At that time, I was six weeks, and so my due date is December 11th. If you're currently pregnant, let me know in the comments what your due date is. I then decided to um, look for a doctor. I had to get a new doctor. My doctor had relocated, but I had with my first two kids. Um, so I found a doctor online, read the reviews, and went to see them two weeks later. My first appointment was not until eight weeks, and I only got to meet with the nurse practitioner at that time. Um, during that whole time, between the four to eight weeks being pregnant, I experienced no morning sickness, and I have never had morning sickness with either of my children. Um, with any of the three pregnancies that I've had, no morning sickness. Um, I was just extremely thirsty and extremely tired. I just drank tons and tons of water. I could not get enough water to save my life. I felt dehydrated all the time, but I just kept drinking water. I know that was a symptom. And I noticed my sense of smell starting to heighten already at that point. Anytime there was like trash near me or anything that did not smell good, I could smell it times 10. So I was really on my husband about keeping the trash out. If I threw food away from the refrigerator, it had to go out immediately because I could just smell it and it was just worse than, than normal, you know. Around week nine, I started experiencing headaches. They were slight, mild headaches and I still do get them every once in a while. Um, mainly if I take too long to eat or just throughout the day if I'm feeling tired, I might get a slight headache. So I make sure I keep Tylenol on me. That has been my best friend, really the only medicine I have been taking. The only other thing I have been taking is my prenatal vitamin. It is the uh, Vitafusion prenatal vitamins. I really like the way these taste. They're the gummies. Gummies is what I prefer. Um, but I do not take them until I eat because I did notice that if I took them first, my stomach would get a little upset. So I eat breakfast first and then I take two of these. Um, the nurse practitioner did recommend at my eight week appointment that I do take aspirin once a day to help keep my blood pressure low. My blood pressure has been great this time around and it was great with my son. Um, but when I had my daughter, my first pregnancy, um, my blood pressure did get high towards week 36. So to avoid that happening this time, they wanna make sure I take aspirin um, each day to prevent that. And I did ask my doctor if I am going to be my second trimester at 14 weeks or 12 weeks. I know when I was pregnant with my first two kids, 12 weeks was the standard. Um, people, well, I, at least what I heard people mention is 12 weeks is your when your first trimester is over. But this time around, I've been hearing 14 weeks and either way makes sense, I guess, if you think about it. Um, either way, it's split into threes, either by weeks or months is how you can either get 12 weeks or 14 weeks. But um, based on my app, once I hit 14 weeks, I was in my second trimester. So the only changes I think I'm experiencing this time around is that I am showing a lot sooner. I know most people say when they have their third baby, their body is already poked. Like at first sign of pregnancy, as soon as they get pregnant, their stomach is showing just because your body already knows what to do. I did realize I had like cramping a little bit, not cramping, but like if I got up too fast, I could feel like a strain like in my stomach muscles because I think they were already my stomach was already like growing. It was already doing what it's supposed to do. And I don't experience that now, but around week five, week six, week seven, I would feel like a pull a little bit if I like moved too fast or rolled over too fast or was playing with the kids. Like I could feel that my body was changing. And that has really been the only changes thus far. I was worried because I am in my 30s this time around. So I'm hoping that I can um, stay on track more so with weight. My doctor, um, the note they gave me with all the information said that they want me to stay between 10 to 20 pounds of like gaining weight, which seems nearly impossible. I don't know how people can do that, but I'm going to try. I know with my first child, I gained, but both of my kids, I gained like 30 to 40 pounds the first time around, the first two times around. And I was in my 20s at that time and much smaller, so I did not mind gaining the weight. I only kept on like 10 pounds with each kid. But now I'm being in my 30s, I want to make sure I make better eating habits this time, or better eating choices this time, not eating as much fast food or giving into my cravings. I have been craving a lot of sweets just like I did with both of my kids in the first trimester. Um, and I've also been cra craving a lot of tacos, which I think I did with my son. Um, 
as well. So I've been eating a lot of Chipotle, eating and making a lot of tacos, and I have been craving a lot of sweets and I'm really trying hard not to give in to all the sodas and baked goods and candy. I really want candy and I never want candy anymore, but I've been thinking about candy a lot and the, if the kids have candy, I want candy. So I'm trying to um, find healthier options on what I do eat versus just giving in to what I really, really want. Um, one of my good cravings has been watermelon. I love watermelon anyways, and I crave it all the time now. So that I'm sticking with, that's okay in my book. Um, this time around, I'm just trying to make sure I enjoy the journey. I am taking in all the little moments, sharing all the little moments, which is one reason why I'm glad I'm documenting it this time around from beginning all the way to end. This is plan to be I, I plan this to be my last pregnancy so I am just going to enjoy the whole experience I know women get pregnant every day but it really is a blessing that our bodies are able to do what it does carry a child create life and bring it here on earth so I really want to be able to just enjoy it and share with you guys how it's going I do want to share with you guys week by week updates and I'm going to share with you my must-haves that have really been Get me through this pregnancy so that will be what's coming up next if you guys have any questions for me leave them in the comments and let me know how your pregnancy is going if you're currently pregnant or what you experienced in the past or things that helped you out i look forward to reading the comments and chatting with you guys so i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye